cos product with P C K. That's one of the terms. Plus, now we're looking at R A C. So this minus this. That means you have three J minus two K cross product with the force that's twenty I forty J and thirty K. And all of this long thing should add up to zero. So basically we need to determine this and we need to determine this. This product will be a determinant. You have I, J and K. First row. The second row will be zero, two, zero. Third row is going to be zero, zero, P, Z. And that's all you have from here. So this should come out to be, I mean if I take I, then you have two B Z. Then if I take J, you have this times this, this times this, so that's zero. <coughs> Plus K, then we're looking at this times this, this times this, that's also zero. So this goes to zero, this goes to zero. Then we're looking at this, there's going to be another determinant. You have I, <coughs> J, and K. Then we get zero for I. You have three minus two. Then you have 20, negative 40, and negative 30. Which means if I use I, you get this times this minus this. So really what you have is minus 90, and that becomes plus 80. You get another 80. So that's with the I. So then you have J. This and this goes to 0. This and this gives you negative 40. But there's another negative, so that becomes plus 40. Then we have K. <coughs> this and this goes to 0 and you get negative 60. So that's the second determinant. So we're going to put everything together, <coughs> which means I'm just going to sum the moments about x-axis at point A. That should go to 0. You get M A X, that's your first. Then you get this, which is 2 B Z. Then you get this, that's negative 170, you get negative 170, and this should go to 0. Then we have sum the moments about the y-axis at the same point. Then we get M A Y, that's this. Then there's nothing, should be from here. We should get negative 40 and <coughs> That goes to zero. Then we're going to sum the moments for the axis to be zero. We get M A Z. Then we get negative 50. Then you get negative 60. And that goes to zero. So <coughs> from this equation, your M A Z would be 110 palm feet. From this equation, we get M A Y as 40 pound feet. Then this equation will be M A Z plus 2 times of B Z. B Z is here, that's 30 minus 170, that goes to 0. So you get M A Z as another 110 pound feet. So that gives you all the <coughs> unknown you need or <coughs> I could write the let's say A as 
force factor that's going to be negative 20 I plus 40 J. So that's the reaction at A in vector form. Then you have the reaction which is B. That will be this 30 times of K. So that's the reaction in the point B. Then you have a couple that's in a vector form 2 and that's going to be 110 I then we have the 40 J plus another 110 K. That's in <coughs> pound feet and this will be in pound. So I mean that's your complete solution on this problem. So any questions on this? Okay, we're going to move on to the 